What is up guys, we got a 19th place uh, Gecko Moria deck profile uh, with the Mr. Sam who owns a shop in SoCal. Want to so shout guys, it out? Yeah, it's, uh, it's Perfect Wares in the city of Artesia. Okay. Um, if you guys are in the Industrious area, we got some the top players there right next to the CCG guys. This is uh, Justin and Philip and JP and so on. So. Yeah, so Sam is a very high rarity guy, so you'll see a very high rarity Gecko Moria deck. So, uh, yeah, anyways, what was your matchup throughout the whole day? Yeah, so uh, my first one was against Blue Nami. Uh, he he kind of bricked out for the majority of it with no really good triggers. Um, so he didn't not like going through half his deck by the time I, I beat him. Uh, the other ones were four Sokka's, five Geckos. This even had a lot of Geckos. But uh, I, in all fairness, though, I did win the uh, matchup lottery, so I didn't play any Kata's today. So, oh, okay. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Kata is your worst matchup. Uh, obviously, your, it's match. my worst matchup, but it's a matchup I personally don't like seeing just because like, it has such a high roll potential. Yeah. Like, if they just mom you, like, it's just auto tempos. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, let's check. This is the playmat that he uh, uses. He has one of the two uh, signed by the voice actor of Luffy. Yep, so also really verified nice. by PSA. So, shout verified. out to Pyramid for supplying this playmat. So. Yes. Uh, Very cool. Do check it out. This is the, the Venom Shroud playmat with yes. uh, the Gear 5 Luffy on it. So. Pyramid. All right, let's check out the deck list. All right. So uh, first off, uh, I played three Tsuru, but uh, I subbed the fourth Tsuru with a Tashigi only because I'm playing the Rebecca engine. Uh, this actually came up today because um, it forces an attack into this. If um, you, re you cost reduce, play Absalom, and then like they're forced to you know, answer your board and like swing the Tashigi. So this is actually like really good. You can also add it back with Rebecca if you, as, a, as a fourth Perona in case you need to add it back as a 2k. So. I see. Um, next up, uh, four pre-release Sindri's. Uh, standard, turn one play, uh, nothing inside of that. Uh, it's really critical to have a really strong trash going into the, the rest of the match. Strong trash. <laughs> strong trash, yeah, it's uh, Gecko 101. So, uh, next up, uh, three brand news. Uh, I was playing four for a really hot minute, but outside of turn two or even three, uh, the fourth one almost rarely ever comes up unless you're in desperation to find a cost reducer. But for that reason, uh, I, I played three. So. Got it. Um, next up, I uh, played two Hamnepos, um, contrary to Kyle's list, who had three. Uh, I actually didn't really have space for the uh, third Hamnepo, only because I do play the one Hina, uh, which with, with the Rebecca engine, I do have the one Hina. Uh, I only play one Hina because most people do play two with the Rebecca engine, but it's kind of bad if you don't see Rebecca's and you just have like the random uh, Hina without the Rebecca kind of support it. Um, but in most instances with uh, Rebecca, you actually don't do the Rebecca Hina Luchi play. Um, in the mirror match, you actually go uh, Rebecca and you add a 2k back or you add a Sabo for the follow up turn. Um, it's actually they, they actually never want to answer this with eruption and removal um, unless they're going for game. So, more often than not, that actually sticks a lot longer. It actually stuck a lot like the whole day. Nice. So, you can swing your uh, you can play your gecko, you know, your follow up gecko, play Rebecca, and like. If they swing into it, you can protect with Rekka or a 2k. So, uh, also really good in Akata if you have a lot of recursion with the HM uh, Morias. Uh, Rebecca also will help you achieve your Sabos if you ever trash it and you want recursion with it. Um, Sabo is actually really good. Okay. So, uh, standard for Hogback. Um, nothing to say about that. This is your, your recursion card right here. Uh, for Absalom, uh, this is your main popper. Uh, that's pretty standard. Uh, for Peronas. Uh, just you know, just to iterate, this is a very, actually very strong into the Sokka matchup. Uh, I actually beat a Sokka today because I played the Perona three times on curve, and like he just lost so much like tempo and advantage, like trying to answer my board. So, yeah, uh, lost, lost a lot of gas. Uh, board Selino, I had this at three, but because I played the two Rebecca, I actually cut this to one. Uh, I didn't cut it to zero because I do feel like um, you know it is necessary when you're trying to um, lock the board down and. Um, uh, I actually did prefer playing the Rebecca in terms of value plays over the Borsalino. Um, I saw that against Sokka, this is actually kind of underwhelming, so for that reason I cut it to 1, but it was still good nonetheless. Yeah, for other uh, Kuzon, double Kuzon, uh, this is another reason why I tutored, tutored Hida to 1, because uh, there's a lot of cost reduction in the deck already. So two, two cousins was well, the, the walking Ice Age uh, with legs, so... Um, Definitely critical in the mirror match as well as all the other rogue matchups, which I never really play, but uh, two cons pretty standard. Uh, three Luchis. Uh, I really thought about playing four, but um, because I play four Sabos, um, I never really hard time had a hard time finding even one Luchi. Um, but you know, three I think looking at most lists is pretty standard. But four, if you absolutely need that uh, that eighth removal in addition to Absalom. So. Uh, this honestly was the MVP of the day. 
Um, I was playing Ooh. three Savos in Texas, oh my which regretfully, gosh. I wish I was playing the fourth, but in the mirror match, this shined super hard. Um, because on, on if you go odd curve and you go Sabo into Sabo to protect your board, they're not removing your board for two turns. Um, against you know, this is also a very critical card against the Kata matchup because if you play it on curve, um, you're getting so much value by having your 2k reach up to eight um, against uh, Kata Curry. So this helps you stay very healthy. Uh, yeah. Four four Sabos definitely was uh, the way this weekend considering how many uh, geckos were there. Uh, outside of that, you have the four Morias, which is standard. Um, Kemp won't play any less. Um, I know most people that play more than one Hina usually cut an Ice Age, but um, Ice Age was so critical in the mirror match because if you're going odd curve, um, you want to have both a Ice Age and Moria to answer their, their Moria. Yeah. So usually in the end, it's like whoever sticks the Moria last usually comes up on top. So for that reason, I actually like going first. Most of my opponents that want Dice Rose took second. Okay. But once I answered my Moria and then I just cascade my Moria into their Morias, yeah. uh, it was kind of like ditch from there and kind of bury them after that. So. They basically have to draw the second Moria to Yeah, they have counter. to draw the second Moria. Um, so, uh, but more often than not, they won't be able to answer your, your, your the Moria that you answered their first one with. So. Yeah, makes sense. Uh, but yeah, four, four Ice Ages and last off, the four eruptions. So pretty standard, never cut. Uh, it's going to get banned, so play while you can. So. True. Okay, well, uh, did I ask you what your matchups were throughout the whole day? Yeah, so um, I lost, you guys probably all saw this on stream, but I played against a Sokka uh, round six. Uh, I was a little bit going through the jitters and I kind of fumbled my turn three play, which I got a minus three against like his Kuzan. Yeah. I burned an Eruption and a Ice Age and an Absalom effect a turn a whole too late, yeah. which you know, definitely shifted the tempo and more in his favor, but I did my best to kind of try to win out. Uh, so for that, I apologize for for probably better play, but you know, for the lack of better words, you know, I did my best. Uh, the following turn, the following round, I did lose to a gecko mirror, but um, I have to iterate that in the mirror match, seeing your gecko on curve is just so critical um, that if you don't, if you miss the window to play it, it might be too late. So I had two geckos in trash, but I found no hogbacks until it was too late. So I, I lost that matchup. But everything else. Um, was was you know fairly it was really good matches all day all day, all day long so did you go first for that matchup uh no i actually yeah i went first against most matchups even winning the dice roll i still like to go first okay um except the very very last round nine gecko for whatever reason i keep probably figured it out to go first uh but nonetheless i still uh, beat him with like four life remaining in the mirror match so got it yeah pretty crazy have you tested <laughs> uh the meta with the black uh black yellow luffy and yeah. Sabo and all that? Yeah, it's it's actually very, very rough. If you play the standard Gecko list, uh, the Black Yellow Luffy matchup is definitely unfavored. Uh, you're probably going to lose 80% of your matches because the Sabo is just strongly recurring and you're you're not going to get any values off your Ice Ages. Yeah. Um, I think if I was to play Gecko into the next format, uh, I'd probably cut the Ice Ages for sure because you know the Sabos are going to lock you out. Uh, but um, I would probably tutor that with the 8-cost Ishos. 8-cost uh -huh. Ishos definitely makes that matchup so much more winnable. Um, only because, like, you know, one Dawn reduces their guy, so you can play, like, Brook over it on, on consecutive turns. If you're playing the 6-drop Brook. Um, or if you play the Ishos, it rips two cards out. Yeah. And, like, they're a glorified Wipeer deck, so you're gonna lose a lot of tempo that way. To, to kind of stay alive towards the end of the game. So. Okay, cool. Well, thank you for the insight on yeah. the, new, uh, the new meta. And also, a uh, very, very nice deck that you have. Thank you. Uh, Hopefully you guys enjoyed. So. Yeah, yeah <laughs> definitely will. All right, thank All you. Right. Thanks, guys.